guys, it's Jamie from Yarny Box. In this video, I'm going to be showing you two markets that I had this weekend. I had a night market on Friday night and then a mountain market on Saturday all day. I'm going to show you what I'm bringing to the market, what sold and what didn't sell at the market. So if you're interested in that, definitely stay tuned. Before we get into the video, I do have an exciting announcement to make. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this already. But me and my husband are going to be having a baby in the springtime and it's been a bit of a whirlwind. This first trimester has been definitely difficult, especially trying to market prep. Didn't get as much done as I wanted to for this weekend, but that's okay. Did the best that I could. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I'm bringing to the market now. So the first thing that I'm bringing is a bunch of hats. It is September 1st, which means it's officially hat season. I know the weather is still pretty summery, but September 1st in my books is fall. I'm digging out the hats and I'm bringing them to this weekend. I've got a bunch of different colors. They've all got really big fluffy palms on them. All the pom-poms are a snap-off. These guys sell like absolute hotcakes in the fall and winter time, especially in my area. I live in Canada and Canada is beanie season pretty much 10 months of the year. So I can really get away with selling these for most of the year. And so yeah, the first item is hats. Going along with the fall theme, my next item is pumpkins. I have a bunch of pumpkins that I'm bringing. These guys are made with burnout blanket yarn and I've just got them in a ton of different colors. Got this really cute brown one. These guys are made with an Addy knitting machine with the 22 pin. If you guys want a tutorial, I think I'm gonna post it probably the end of next week. And then I've got a bin of regular pumpkins as well. These pumpkins are made with acrylic yarn and again, I've just got a ton of different colors for these. Moving on to plushies, I've got a whole bin of mushrooms. Of course I do. I can't do a market these days without having at least one bin full of mushrooms. Terms. These guys are a pattern by Cable and Canvas on Instagram. You can pop their little head off. They're super cute. These guys sell so well for me. Mushrooms are always a hot hit at markets. It's really easy to quickly whip up a bunch of these and throw them all in a bin and they look super cute together. Next item that I have was a pattern test for my friend Ollie's Crochet over on Instagram. These are little monsters. They're super cute. I've got Sprout and a mushroom. This one's called Pixie. Squatch and we've got Dot. Dot is a little funny looking. I kind of think he looks like he's got some sort of skin rash going on with these dots. I don't know what I was doing with these colors and the placement, but I've got a bunch of these little monster guys. They're super cute and they're really awesome for markets because they whip up super fast and they use almost no yarn. So if you're looking for a new market prep pattern, I definitely recommend that you go and check her out on Instagram. I'm bringing a couple of unicorns. These unicorns are a free pattern on my blog. It's called Belle the Baby Unicorn. So I've got a purple one. She's got really big purple sparkle eyes. And then I've got this pink one and she's got some felt eyes on her. And then I've got this white, blue, and pink one. She is super cute as well. I do have a pattern for this one. And this guy is just a no-sew mushroom guy on my blog. And I've got a blue and brown one as well. I've got a little fox. This is Felix the Fox. He's a pattern that I have available on my website. Got a baby dinosaur. Again, this is a free pattern on my website. This guy is super cute. He is a lanky mushroom man and he is from Ollie's Crochet. I love his green eyes and his green hat. Got a cute little duck. This one is from Jen's Crafty Creations over on Instagram. I've got a baby bat left over from my last market. Got a blue hippo. I love this guy. I love his big blue eyes. This one is Holly the Hippo. It's available as a pattern on my website as well. Four jellyfish. I don't know how I managed to make teal and pink. Um, I thought I was making four different colors, but I clearly was not. I've got this little duck. I still have a couple of dinosaurs left over from my Hanagurumi dinosaur pattern pack that I made a few months ago. I first made them in May or June. And so I've got a pterodactyl left over from that still. He is not selling, but I might mark him down a little bit and try to get him sold before Christmas time. Although this is a very specific thing that someone would want. Not a lot of people would go after a pterodactyl, so I totally get why he hasn't sold yet. And then this guy is even more niche. He is the other dinosaur that I have left over from that pattern pack, and it is a Pachycephalosaurus. I'm sure I said that wrong, but it is the thick-skulled girly, and again, super niche dinosaur, so I'm not surprised why it hasn't sold, but I might mark both of these dinosaurs down a little bit and see if I can get them sold this weekend. I've got two purple turtles. I've got a blue turtle that has roses on the shell. It's a 
cute. I've got another baby dinosaur, little Marvin the Moose. This is also a pattern available on my website. He is one of my best sellers, especially during Christmas time. Everybody loves the moose head. His head is so big. He's super cute. And last but not least, I have this little candy corn guy. Again, this is a free pattern on my blog. That's it for all my market prep. I definitely didn't make as many plushies as I wanted to for this weekend, but as I was saying, I felt like absolute trash the last couple of months, so market prep has been really hard. Thankfully, it's fall, so I can get away with bringing a lot of pumpkins and hats to this weekend. But yeah, that's it for everything that I'm bringing, and I will show you guys what setting up is like at this market. It's the next morning. It is 7.30 a.m. I am on my way to the mountain market that I'm doing today. It's in the mountains, so it's a little bit cool. The weather definitely feels like fall. Last night was a pretty good market. It was a decent turnout, but there wasn't a ton of people shopping, so I made more sales than I thought I would, but it was just like a mediocre market. September is always kind of a funny month to sell, at least in my area. And this market doesn't have a ton of traction yet, so I wasn't expecting too much, but it was a fun night overall. I just unloaded the car. I just got to the venue and I have my Egg McMuffin and my pumpkin spice latte. I've never had a pumpkin spice latte from McDonald's, so I hope it's good. I'll keep you posted and I'm going to go set up.